so I've been catching up on uh, Christmas Chronicles journaling stuff today so not really much I can show you so I thought what I would do is include a little show of what I'm taking with me because I'm going to urban sketching tomorrow with my local urban sketchers group we're going to uh, the local museum the city museum and it, we have a spitfire in there that's being restored and I thought that would be a nice place to go and sit where it's nice and warm for a change because <laughs> the last two times we've been out we've been rained off and it's been bitterly cold so I thought I'm organizing this one so I thought well let's go indoors specifically so the Spitfire sounds fun to me I don't know how many other people are going to be there but yeah I'm just just putting my stuff together and I thought hey I know I will put all my stuff in my bag and show you what I'm taking with me for my urban sketching. So this is my bag, it's got a really long crossbody handle and this sits perfectly at my hip, uh, which means that I can literally, I can clip all my pens and stuff, I tend to clip my pens and things in here, uh, of course I can't find a pen, here we go, uh, I usually clip my pens and stuff on there, uh, I've also got a, a thing with my on my pencil case that I can just clip it onto anywhere and have it outside my bag without losing it so that's pretty handy. This bag is, I got it off Amazon, I will put a link to it in my Amazon A store, there are two different versions, there's the Zaza and there's the Lorenza version. I think it's the same company but they just changed their name but the, I've got the Zaza version it's got a front section pocket with two expanding pockets and a flat pocket so this is quite good for popping pens in as well in here I have a water container in a ziplock bag that's fresh water I just filled it up and that slots in there so I use that for my I've actually got on my key ring I've got a little expandable cup it's only a tiny little thing and I just pour the water into my little expandable cup so I can use it with my um, brush and then I've got clean water and I've got rinsing water uh, in the front here this little pocket here I put my travel tin this is now everybody goes on about these tins and says oh they're so expensive they're like 40 pounds to get one. Oh, you know they're really expensive they're not expensive at all go on ebay i got mine for 4.99 from a chinese chap you can find them all over the place i've got the big one i've got the small one i've got the medium one this is even the one that comes with the rim you know a lot of them only have a rim here so all your watercolour slides off this is the one that's actually got um, it's got the thumb ring underneath and then it's got the rim around here to stop oops it's got the rim around here to stop your water coming off it's supposed to hold six pans but I actually managed to fit one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 15, 18, 21 of my 45 Windsor & Newton cotton colours in here. Literally this this is the, the proper side where you're supposed to put your half pans and then if you put it in the middle that these cotton ones fit perfectly and this all lifts out and everything so you know five quid on eBay seriously it even had free delivery I don't know why everybody says they're so expensive and difficult to find but anyway that's my little travel tin uh, that goes in there I also have this little light now this is a replacement because my original one was a bit too heavy and every time I put it on my sketchbook it got really heavy that way but this is just an LED light that I clip on there and I switch it on you won't be able to see it on camera but come on on you go there we go uh, because it's blue LED light or white light it's much easier to see the colors you're mixing when it starts getting a bit dark and it's also good for when you're indoors and you're 
dealing with um, yellow light which is what I'm filming under now so it's it's really good for that that also goes in there and since it's got a clip I think I'll probably clip it will that work no let's just slot it in like that the other one used to clip on but then it's got a secondary pocket which is quite big this is quite a deep pocket here so I can actually put things like my uh, glasses case it's my glasses case glasses are not in there of course my inhaler my I've got one of these little pack things to put my cards in so I've just got my bank card in the back there my Starbucks card and my Costa card important to take your coffee cards with you and of course just in case somebody gets cocky business cards because we never go anywhere without a business card so that's got all my cards in it I've got my I've lost my skull candy headphones I'm gutted my beautiful black skull candy headphones that sound so amazing they're not in the box so I'm gonna have to take my crappy ones these buzz in one ear which I'm not happy about but I can't find my skull candy so these will have to do <sighs> the trials and tribulations I never go anywhere without my headphones also in there of course will be my my phones I take my this is my regular phone my proper phone this one is I don't use it as a phone I use it as an entertainment system so it's got my but audiobooks my music uh, I basically use it like an iPod uh, but I also film on this one so those will both go in there but not right now what else will I put in there um, anything else I need to take I don't need my sunglasses my gloves are in my coat yeah I think we'll be all right I think that's all I need in there in this flat pocket here, all I've got in here is my tissues for my watercolour. Uh, it's got a big body compartment here and it's got a little compartment at the back. Now, in the little compartment, this is my regular sketching kit. In this body compartment, uh, I normally carry like my pencil case or something like that or I used to carry a big... Um, padded thing to sit on but I've changed that up I'll show you that in a second so in the back here I've got my regular sketchbook thing which is this is a what's it called F clipboard folder now where's my oh there it is it's holding that together I've got a clipboard folder here and I have one of these big bulldog clips and what I do is I put that big bulldog clip on that crease there and ta-da now you've got a flat surface to work on and I can use it either way so I can use it for larger pieces or I can use it for small pieces at the moment I'm using this little A5 sketchbook so I simply slot that under there and that's it job done I can put my watercolor tin under these elastics to keep it in place like so when I'm using it I also have enough room to slot pens and things in uh, I can hook my pencil case on and literally it, I just I just hold it like that <laughs> it's really comfortable to hold I've got a a nice big loop here that I like to sketch with my Lamy but a lot of place a lot of pen holders will not hold my Lamy but this does it's huge so I can slot my Lamy into there and have it safe while I'm painting or sketching or whatever so that is my sketching board And my clip was actually on this, holding this together. Um, this is, now I bought one of these sets of pencil cases. This is an A4 folder size pencil case. You can fit an A4 folder in there. 
I also have the A5 which I use as a, a proper pencil case as you can see but what I've done with this because these are quite hard wearing and waterproof I filled it with some of this stuff this is packing material you know that stuff that you hold it in your hand for a second and it gets hot um, it doesn't get cold it's kind of thermal so I filled it with some of that and I use that to sit on when I go out sketching because quite often if you want to sit on a wall or something especially in the winter it's cold and wet and it's not good for you to be sitting on damp surfaces in the cold so I use this pop it down can sit on that and then that's nice and small it fits back in my bag and it's nice and light to carry there's nothing to it I've been looking for various different solutions for this I, I used to use one of those um, you know the disposable puppy pads that you have well it's not disposable it's a reusable one you just wash it uh, but it's got a lock away core and it's fleecy on one side and I used to use one of those but it's quite heavy because of the material it's made of this is incredibly light uh, and it is just enough to stop uh, the damp and cold getting to you while you're sat down and the other great thing about it is that it has these loops so I've actually bought I'm not sure where I've put it right now, but I've bought one of those tag clips, you know, the extendable ones that have got like a string that you put your name badges on. I've got one of those. I'm going to attach it to this so that when I'm out and about, I can attach it to my belt. So that if I stand up and it's a bit windy and this decides to blow away, it's not going to blow away far because it's attached to me. Yeah, I've had that happen before. <laughs> so that's my thing to sit on. Pop my paints back in there, put my sketchbook in there, now of course I'm going to need some drawing stuff so let's find my case here, this is my, I bought this in Wilco's, I like it because it's clear on one side and it's also got this clip on it, you can also put, I used to put neckties on it and kind of hang it around my neck uh, it's all sorts of things you can it's actually supposed to go in a ring binder but uh, yeah it's really functional for being out and about so I travel light when I'm going out sketching I need my 2H pencil my 3B pencil just in case I want to only work in pencil uh, an eraser I like these white plastic erasers I also have the pencil style ones I will take my 005 micron for very fine details. I will also take my white pen, my Lamy for sketching, although I'm, I'm not putting my Lamy in just yet because I'm going to use it in a minute, but I will put that in my pencil case. That's what I generally sketch with. I either do all pencil or I do pen. I don't kind of mix the two together very often. Because I'm going to be drawing an aircraft, I will also take my silver pen, my bronze pen, and my gold pen, if I can find it. Here we go. So I've got gold, silver, and bronze. Because obviously aircrafts have metal on, so I might need more likely the silver but I don't know what colour the Spitfire is at the moment whether it's metal or whether it's been repainted or what state of repair it's in at the moment I'm also going to take my light grey this is my mild liner light grey it's perfect for shadows and I'm going to take my ruler now I wouldn't normally take a ruler but I think for a Spitfire because of the breadth and length of it I may just need to get some angles going so I'll just take a ruler just in case I don't know if I'll need it but I might I'm also going to take a black brush pen this is a water soluble black brush pen this is from the Akarasha Sai I think they're called 
set. I have up the whole set, but I'm I'm taking the black because it's better than black watercolour. And I'm also going to take the flesh tone because it's a museum, so there'll be people about, so I might need to draw people. And that's it, that's all I'm going to need, I think. Let me see, pencils, inking, thick lines, thin lines, metallic lines, white lines, grey shadows, black if I need it, flesh tone, an eraser and a ruler just in case. I think that's all I'm going to need, so I'll pop my lamy in later. Um, I will also actually put in one of these. This is my preferred pen to sketch with if I'm not using my Lamy. This is a Uniball Eye Needle Point. It's the point 0.4 needle point. Now this is a great alternative if my Lamy runs out of ink. I've just refilled my Lamy so it shouldn't run out of ink but you never know. Sometimes you know fountain pens leak or they do weird things and, and you know it's just always a good idea I think to just have a spare pen just in case if you're going to have a fountain pen with you. So I've got a regular sketching pen and I've got a very fine sketching pen um, but I prefer to use that. So that's my pencil case that's going in there as well and because I'm going to be sketching indoors I don't normally do this in the winter, normally I just take my A5, but because I'm going to be sketching indoors, I'm going to have somewhere to sit, uh, it's going to be nice and warm, it's not going to be uncomfortable, I'm going to take my large sketchbook. Now I don't normally take this with me, because it's quite big and hefty, um, I usually only take it out in the summer, but for drawing an aircraft, I'm wondering if bigger might be better, so I may do some very quick pencil sketches in here of different sections of the plane to just try and get some more detail. So I'm going to take that with me. I may use it, I may not. I have no idea, but I'm, I'm thinking that I might like to use that. Now this doesn't exactly fit into this. Uh, it's nine by seven and a half and the, the bag fits nine by seven comfortably. It fits um, composition books perfectly, uh, but I just have to tweak this into here just to get the corners to fit, and I have to be quite careful with it because I don't want to split my bag. But once it's in, it's in, and that's it. There's my pencil case, and that is my sketching bag. Now, also, I'm going to take my filming equipment. I've got my phone, as I said, I use that for filming mostly. I've also got this, which I'm trying to find a way to fix this to the strap of my phone, of my bag, sorry. Uh, it fits my phone. It's actually supposed to be a wrist piece, but Obviously you can't really use a wrist piece when you're painting, it's supposed to go on your wrist like that so that you can film. Uh, it's meant to be for biking and things. So it's got this piece here, like that. And your phone goes in there. Like so. And you can film. Now I'm thinking that if I can attach this to the strap of my bag in a similar way that this is already attached to a watch strap. So if I just do that so you can see how it's attached. See, if you imagine the crossbody of your bag going across your chest here, if I can somehow fix this, then I'll be able to film while I'm painting. I can't show you because you can't see what I'm doing but yeah that's the theory. I'm trying to find a way to attach this part to my bag. I don't really want to sew it on, I want it to be detachable. So I'm thinking possibly the best thing to do is going to be 
to sew this part onto my bag and, and secure this part so that I can just simply stick it on and see if that will hold. I don't know if the weight will hold but I think the weight of the bag will hold the strap taut enough that this will stay put um, because it's not really that heavy once you've got it in the right position. So yeah, I'm going to have to play about with that tonight and see how that works. See if I can figure out how to fix it onto my strap. If not, I do have another one which I have temporarily misplaced because uh, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know I did a big upheaval yesterday and I can't offhand remember where I put it. I think it's back here somewhere, but I need to I need to dig at dig it out. It actually is a suction one that's supposed to suction to a dashboard, but it suctions to this vinyl quite nicely. This is my big clipboard. Uh, I don't take this sketching with me because it doesn't fit in my bag, unfortunately. I wish it did, but I'll be able to use it in the summer for bigger paintings. Um, but yeah, my, my suction one fits nicely onto my vinyl, and I think I can use that as a a recording when I'm painting as well. So I'm going to play with that as well today and see if I can fix either of those to work the way I want them to. But that is my sketching kit and I'm all ready to chuck my lamy in my bag with my glasses tomorrow and head off for an afternoon of sketching in the museum. See you then!